This is the largest pipeline ever put in the ground. Everything's dead in two and a half miles. That includes all my family, my neighbors, the animals. And I, I've told people before that my greatest fear is that I'll be in town when it blows. And I'll have to be the survivor of this. You've got this huge shale oil field that you're, you're extracting gas from. They've got a 42 inch high pressure pipeline that has 90 degree bends in it. And you don't do that with an eight inch pipeline because they'll just blow themselves apart. They came through and cut my trees. Oh, God. It was like a knife in the heart for every tree that I heard fall. My tree sits right here. This is where I lived for 34 days. Had my drywall bucket on the side with a toilet seat. I had my food over here. I had Not much else. Yellow tape and workers surround the makeshift treehouse of a 61-year-old protester called Red. The Mountain Valley Pipeline. It's a shell company. It's a stack of paperwork. Should anything go wrong with this pipeline, they'll cease to exist in however long it takes to write up the paperwork to dissolve a company. And then they will not be held responsible for anything because they will no longer exist. When they announced the pipeline coming through, it was just it was just such a kick in the teeth and it's just this feeling like like they're they're snatching up all these beautiful places because it's easy. I don't think they really understood how much disruption and uh, suffering they're going to bring to people up here and how people up here are pretty banded together and they're not going to stand up for it. We went nobody's that stupid. Nobody is that stupid to go through these steep mountains in this hard rock, through all these wetlands, all this water. And we laughed. And we really didn't take them seriously until the surveyors came. So there's a tiny little detail in the fact that Roanoke Gas is a like 0.1% owner of this pipeline. And because Roanoke Gas is part of it, they can now claim that it's part of a utility which allowed the eminent domain. I told Miner, I said, I've got the month off. I'm going to build me a tree stand. So she said, I'm with you, Mom. And I guess we were watching, the news was on, and they were talking about the tree sits at the Appalachian Trail with Nutty. And Ray was sitting there, and she's like, you know, I can do that. And Miner's like, well, Mom, if you can, I will too. They started planning it. They got people involved. They went up in the trees. We had never been to another tree set. We were clueless. I wasn't expecting the cops to surround me. I had two MVP guards, two Roanoke County cops, and two state police 24-7. They taped me off, and nobody was allowed to pass anything up to me. And they were gonna starve me out. Reno County caved, and we were told that we would be delivered meals. And those meals turned out to be two bologna sandwiches, two cookies, a bag of juice, and that was breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
And so after I got out of the trees, I mailed our governor a bologna sandwich every day. I hope he ate the motherfuckers. This is our home. You can't come in and take away people's home, property, and farms and not expect people to resist. We rallied people and I would spend my time in the tree all over again. It was worth it. They don't want you to band together because once you band together, once you become a force, you realize that there's a, this whole big community of people that are also opposed to these pipelines. I don't like being walked all over, and I've never liked being walked all over. I wasn't gonna let them walk all over us. 